Police say they caught the man who caused a disturbance at a crowded Jewish service at a local temple over the weekend. Brighton police arrested 31-year-old Christopher Avila of Farmington. That arrest follows the two Sunday bomb threats against two other Jewish congregations. All this has prompted a plea from local Jewish leaders. There's something about his mannerism that just seemed off, and it was really a, a gut feeling as much as anything. Which is why Friday night, security at Temple Brith Kodesh say they kept a close eye on Christopher Avila. Jewish Federation Security Chief Mark Henderson describes what happened next during the Rosh Hashanah service. This individual stood up and started making comments, and he talked about uh, hell, and he talked about the devil, and it was clear that it was disruptive, it was clear that the intent of the individual was to disrupt. Police say Avila was escorted out and has since been charged with disruption or disturbance of a religious service, a Class A misdemeanor. Here's what Rabbi Peter Stein had to say about that disturbance. Part of, part of what I'm feeling today is that it really is important for us to say that we're not deterred, that we are going to continue our gatherings and our observances. We have really robust security uh, in place. It's a sad reality of our time. Less than five hours from us five years ago, a gunman killed 11 Jews at a synagogue in Pittsburgh. Given that, Jewish Federation leader Meredith Dragon today said the entire community should take incidents like those over the weekend seriously. We are a tiny minority that has needed to invest millions of dollars in our safety and security because of the steep and rapid rise in anti-Semitism. The threat to us is real and sadly, this weekend was a stark reminder of this reality. Avila was arraigned and released. And Brighton police, a state police, helped them track him down.